Well, I'm uh, known as Farmer Nevin and uh, somewhat responsible for this whole crazy farm. And we are doing Earth Day right now where uh, we try to educate people about as many earth-saving possibilities as possible. We have uh, photovoltaic panels, we have the displays about our solar thermal. Today we're very lucky to have a, a Tesla here. Uh, it's a car that will go 130 miles an hour, go 300 miles on a charge, and save fuel, save the environment, all that, all at one time. I have good friends singing at, uh, right over here. We have face painting going on, fun things for kids. A lot of uh, neat stuff. We have a couple of companies that are uh, do energy conservation work. Got a magic act guy here that my dear son is totally in love with. Uh, I think Chatham's going to be a, be a magician when he grows up. So, and I'm thrilled with the crowd. A lot of smiling, happy faces. Yay for my team! They did a great job. I can't thank them all enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have great music. We're going to have we have sheep shearing going on as we speak. We have horse-drawn hay rides, pony rides. Uh, um, adult horse-drawn hay rides, so I think the weight limit on that when you ride a draft horse is somewhere around 350 pounds, so we can accommodate almost anyone. New baby cows are here, the pigs have been moved, we're, the expansion of the petting zoo that we had planned is underway. We're having baby cow feeding right now. Uh, just, it's so darn cute, I just have tears in my eyes and want to cry. Note to self, more ponies for next year's pony rides because we have quite a line here. Uh, it's really quite marvelous. But nobody seems to be upset. They're happy, they're smiling. Yippee! Love it. A bounce house from Bounce About Inflatables, LLC, is here. Marvelous guy donated that. He'll bring it out for many of our uh, birthday parties that we do here. And just down the road across the street, the horse-drawn hay rides and tractor-drawn hay rides go past our earth products division where we're busily loading mulch, compost, manure, all those good things. We also have Captain Compost that's coming out and lecturing about our products out there and what, how they're created, what they're doing. Also, the bees should be arriving a little later today. Uh, someone came out yesterday and set up four hutches, surround it with an electric fence to keep the bears out of there, to keep the bears from stealing the honey. And today they should be installing 60,000 bees in various hives around the area. So it's wonderful to have them here. Our crops will be well taken care of as far as bees go. And a little later on next year we'll have honey for sale, our own local honey. They'll harvest it, package it with our labels on it. Next year, local honey, Flamick Farm. <laughs>
she's acting like a mommy now, but oh, he is acting like a mommy now. He's just here, he's so See what I am. I live and breathe for you. That is a really cool pig.
Look there. Good. There we were at Cluck Cluck Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. There we were at Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. I'm here at the Flamingo Farm Earth Day, and I'm the Miss Connecticut Preteen for USA Nationals. And I'm going to go to Daytona for a national pageant. And I'm just here asking people if they would like to be on the emailing list, just for upcoming events and fun. again down at the mulch pile Captain compost this is Carl he's our big man down here that does all the work behind the scenes getting you your mulch and all that good stuff happy Earth Day
gentle. Too gentle. Too nice. 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 Too nice
The chicks are right over there. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Don't scream. <laughs> Don't scream. You scare him. Wait until they're in the room, okay? Ava, where's the dog? Okay, this is Johnny. This one here is Eos. Johnny was born on our farm and he's seven years old. And Eos is 13 that are doing the rides today. The rides are at Fleming Farms. The young guy's being taught by the old girl. She's a real good horse. She's learning a lot too. And they're going to be a nice young team. Hi, 
I'm Susan Messino and I'm here at Flamick Farm on Earth Day and I'm collecting signatures on a, a citizen's petition to try and encourage Yukon to make a different choice for their additional water needs than pumping water that feeds the Farmington River and uh, enjoy the Earth Day activities. Two. Hello, welcome to Flemeg Farm. Here we have this great bouncy house and this is Earth Day. We have a bunch of kids in there hopping around having a ball, playing with all the little grown up animals, and they're having fun. Gabriella, this is Image. This foot in there. That's a big pony, isn't it? He's a horse. You good? Here. Okay? All right. So say giddy up, Image. Giddy up. Here he goes. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm Farmer Julie, and this is my old event horse, Image. He's 30 years old now, but back in his day, he was something else. He used to jump anything you put in front of him, and now he's earning his farm cookies by doing pony rides which he says, I'm so happy that the kids want to ride on my back. It gives me a job and makes me feel special. And Julie's so happy because she's getting very good right arm strength. Because all Image wants to do right now is eat grass. <laughs> it's springtime and the grass is growing in green and he says, this is too much of a temptation. But he's being a good boy. Are you having fun up there? Good. Daddy! We're going to go Daddy. twice around, okay? Daddy, this horse is 30 years old. 30 years old. Is that older than your dad? Oh. <laughs> wow. He's even older than your dad. Well, look. I bet you've never been on Snowball before. You, you know, I've been on Here we are going for a ride with Snowball. He's a brown horse named Snowball because he ate about 400 snowballs that I made for him this winter time. He's a little new at this game, but he's starting to get the, get the hang of it. He decided he'd rather work for a living than become food. <laughs> right. I, I, rode, I rode one pony, but I rode one horse. One pony and one horse? Did you ride that big horse over there? No, not even. Keep walking, buddy. Got a good snowball. Got reasonably well trained ponies, balloons popping all around them. Uh, they scare them just a little bit, but not too badly. They're, you know, they have to be exposed to virtually any possible contingency. And we try to do that, make them as nervous as we can and keep them calm throughout whatever. Keep walking. Come on, snowball. Right now he's thinking, what is that video camera doing over there? It looks pretty scary. Come on, walk on.
Yeah. 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 Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.